Hey mom, can I get this thing called- No, Timmy, you know you're not allowed to use the iPad anymore. No, that's not it, mom. I was gonna ask if I can get this lunch kit called Lunchly. But Timmy, there's food at home. Yeah, I know, mom, but Lunchly was made by YouTubers and KSI said it's a really healthy option. Please, I just want it, please. My word, mother, that does sound quite intriguing. I would also enjoy a Lunchly. Okay, okay, fine. I'll get you your Lunchly as long as it's healthy. Hell yeah, Lunchly. I can't wait to eat my Mine with some prime. <laughs> yes, this is quite great, but um, is the cheese supposed to be green? Uh, yeah, it is. Duh, you wouldn't know because you're a baby and babies are dumb. <laughs> All right then. Twelve seconds later. Oh, oh my God, this turkey stack is terrible, Timothy. I'm not a big fan of this food. Do you mind if we can switch? Um. Timothy? Honey, I'm home. Oh, hey boys, what's going on here? Is that a new toy? Oh, hello father. Me and Timothy here are just eating some lunch, Lee. I think Timmy liked it so much he's sleeping with his eyes open. Timmy, you alright down there? Oh, good lord, father, he is not breathing. <laughs> Mr. James Stephen Jimmy Donaldson Beast. A relatively small YouTuber. Not sure if you've heard of him. He does have a few subscribers here and there to his name. The crown king of Gen Alpha. The money man himself. The beast within all of us. Yes, this man right here. How did you guess? Currently, he is riddled in a lot of controversy. With his trans friend being accused of liking them younger with a fuck ton of evidence, with a lot of them pointing to the fact that not only did Jimmy know, but he also endorsed the behavior. Yeah, you're gonna need to explain this one, Jimmy. But he's also been accused of influencing gambling in his fan base full of kids, faking videos, faking giveaways, faking fucking charity work, mistreating staff and contestants during production of said videos, and overall just not being a very nice guy to work with. Things are not looking good for a senior beast but this is all alleged just in case there's eyes on me but the evidence against him is so fucking concrete that it's kind of hard to say anything else especially because the people who are coming out against him are the people who worked behind the scenes and to make things worse there has been no attempt to rebuke any of the main accusations in the past few months the beast team has been in the thick of it and everybody knows the grass is not looking green on their side right now but mr jimmy beast is a fucking quadrillion zillionaire. I doubt he even gives a shit. If his current business crashes and burns, he'll just build another one with his Batman level funding. However, at the end of the day, he still is a YouTuber. Even though his current videos look more like Cartoon Network past 10 p.m. than actual YouTube videos, he still calls himself one. Now, I'm not a public figure by any means, but if I was and there was this much fucking controversy around me, I'd at least try and address it in some kind of way. Mr. Beast, you have 300 million subscribers, at least say something. Your reputation as a content creator is in the shithole right now. But instead of actually addressing any of the allegations in this absolute shitstorm he is in right now, which just keeps getting worse day by day. There's probably gonna be 10 more things this guy's accused of before I can even finish recording this video. But instead of addressing anything about the absolute shit pile he's in right now or even trying to remotely defend himself, he decided to make a lunch kit called Lunchly. Fucking Lunchly. Uh, mate, I don't know if you know this, but your brand is in the fucking toilet, man. Your name is not in good graces right now. Why would you release anything? That's just a terrible business move. That's like if EDP released a t-shirt the day after he got exposed for liking more than just cupcakes. It's just not a good idea, okay? It's not a good idea. But it wasn't just him who released it. He released it alongside two fellow YouTubers, KSI and Logan Forrest. Paul, an egocentric maniac who can't handle any criticism, and a man whose moral compass is so twisted that he films literal dead bodies. Yep, these are the kind of guys who I trust to feed my children. Perhaps you are familiar with this product. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. So if you look closely, this product has a candy, mm. an entree, mm. 
and a drink. Wait, wait. Wait. A drink, a drink, some chocolate. Yep, some chocolate. And Andre. And an wait, entree. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so for context, when I first saw this clip, I was thinking, fucking hell. Jimmy Beast is finally here to address the controversy. I mean, it just keeps piling up on itself, Jimmy. You need to address this stuff. Why are Logan and KSI there? I don't know. But he is finally here live to speak upon it. But then they start talking about Lunchables. I mean, all right can't help when you're hungry i mean you'd expect someone who is almost a borderline billionaire to eat something a little bit more fancy than that but okay i can't judge perhaps you guys are piecing this together but 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 this is this is lunchables and this is something you know, you know we, we grew up eating it's a thing it's it's a thing but it's been around forever and i fucking can't with this guy logan why did he just randomly grab a prime what does that have to do with anything he's talking about why did he just randomly grab a fucking prime yeah, we don't have to. No, we don't got it. Grizzler, what, what's your thoughts on it? Show us what you think of this. Oh, bro, what the fuck is going on? What am I watching? Jimmy, is this what you're doing, bro? Instead of addressing anything that's going on right now, you're doing this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so, okay. perhaps you piece this together because we realized in JJ. We have a drink. Here, you want to hold it so it's easier to visualize? Here it is. New hydration beverage. All three of you are literal millionaires and you can't record a video without this shitty camera quality and this shitty internet. Ah oh, yes, what a way to advertise a product which your audience are literally going to consume. I guess this is a good representation of how much effort was put into this. We came together mm. to create a Lunchables competitor Featuring the fastest growing hydration beverage ever and the fastest growing candy ever. And so we did that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce you to Lunch League. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Perfect time for Mr. Beast to drop this. But you know what? Say no more, Deji. I love Prime. I like Jake Paul. Sign me up, I'm hungry all the time, I'll eat this lunch leaf. It's okay, Mr. Beastie. If you're not gonna address these allegations, then that's fine. Well, not too fine for you, but hey man, you do what you want. As long as you produce a well-made product which is genuinely good for you and actually tastes good, then I'll forgive you. Because guys, he donates to charity. He is a good guy. No one who donates to charity can be a bad person, guys. And every product he's made so far has been the best. It is the best. This product is surely gonna be great too, guys. I can't wait to see what Lunchly actually looks like. Ah, uh, it's gonna be great. Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. <laughs> Feastables Crunch! Yeah! Our pizza uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. Ooh. We're also 30 less calories, 3 less grams of fat, and 8 less grams of sugar. You know, I really hate to be that one guy, but that is not enough fucking calories to feed a human being at lunchtime. That isn't even enough calories to feed a fucking guinea pig. How do you expect to feed that to children? By the way, Electrolytes isn't something that should be casually consumed as if it's water. These guys love to talk about the electrolytes in Prime like it's some kind of positive for the body. And yes, it is, but if you're not doing anything and you're just living your life day by day, then you don't need it. The human body already has a sufficient amount of electrolytes, so if you're not doing any form of physical activity, then it's just not necessary. Drinking electrolytes when you haven't lost any electrolytes can cause harm to the body. I'm sure there are way more qualified people who can talk about this stuff than I can, because I'm I'm just using my background knowledge in sports. But you'd at least expect two guys who have been boxing for years to understand this. Turkey stack 310 calories. 230 calories. 21 grams of sugar. Only seven grams of sugar. If you look at this close up, you can already tell which one has better ingredients. No, I can't. That just looks like ordinary cheese and crackers and that looks like fucking Play-Doh. All right, we'll start off with the Lunchables. Bro, I'm sorry, that's trash. All right, now we're trying Lunchly. 
come on. We're not biased at all, but ours is way better. I promise you now, if you blindfolded all of them and you didn't tell them which one's which, they would taste the fucking same. Come in close and look at the queso cheese in Lunchly versus whatever that is. Oh, drip gosh. versus stick. I like my cheese drippy, bruh. 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 Ugh. <laughs> Why did you say this line, Logan? Why? The internet still hasn't recovered from this stupid fucking line. Grown man, you know. 30 years old talking about drippy cheese. That is oh, drip gosh. versus stick. I think there's someone hanging right there. But yeah, surprise, surprise. The two stooges of YouTube and KSI made a shit product. Oh my god, how shocking. No one in any form of right state of mind is gonna eat this fucking biohazard. This shit looks radioactive. Do not feed this to any children anywhere. Make them whole foods, make them a sandwich, but please do not give them this chemical infused waste. It's actually pretty good. Shout out Logan. Ah, oh, what's wrong, guys? You don't look too proud of your product in this video. But here we have it, everyone. Lunchly, perfect for lunchtime. Now, obviously, this product is shit, okay? It's clear as day. Like, I'm not even trying to take the piss right now, but this actually looks like shit. Like, this is fucking prison food. You free, mate, you can piss off. This isn't a product made out of passion. You don't give a shit about children's lunchtime. You just want to infuse your brand into the food market so people can consistently buy your product over and over again. That's it. You don't care about quality of food. You don't care about health. I don't know why the fuck they always claim to care about health. If you did care about health, Jimmy, then you wouldn't sell chocolate bars. You wouldn't have sold that fucking fungal burger. And more importantly, you wouldn't have sold this. This is just a Lunchables knockoff. And I'm I'm never gonna defend Lunchables here because Lunchables is also processed shit. I mean, I used to eat Lunchables when I was a sperm cell, so I'm gonna try not to be too hypocritical here. And if anyone had Lunchables at pack lunchtime, you were that guy. You were the fucking GOAT. But it's still processed shit. It's still not good for you. And neither is Lunchly. It is fucking shit and is the biggest cash grab I've seen come from any content creator ever. Of course the young children that watch these three are gonna beg their parents to buy them this. Because look, the colors are all saturated and it's got Mr. Beast on it. They don't give a flying fuck about making quality food or making healthy food, they just want to make money. And almost the entire internet saw through this, including the Minecraft legend himself, the absolute GOAT. Dan TDM. Round of applause, everyone, please. This guy is an absolute legend. He Hey! You better be fucking clapping or else. But Dan tweeted out, what happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. And honestly, He's not wrong. In recent times, YouTube has felt really corporate. They're quite literally selling stuff for the sake of selling stuff. Do you actually think any of these three care about the food industry? Do you genuinely think any of these guys care about kids eating Lunchables? Fuck no. There's nothing wrong with wanting to make a business or wanting to make more money. It only becomes an issue when you throw out shitty product after shitty product and claim for it to be the new best thing. It just feels inauthentic because you do not not care what kids eat for lunch. You don't give a shit. You saw that Lunchables made 1.2 billion dollars last year and wanted a piece of the pie. You're not trying to make a healthier option for kids. You're trying to take away a few sales from that 1.2 billion. You're not slick, you wankers. But after Dan's initial tweet, KSI, Forrest, and Beast Boy here got a little bit upset at the backlash they were getting. They got a little bit agitated. They weren't too happy with this feedback, so much so that KSI went on a rampage on Twitter and got ratioed at every possible turn. He even went out of his way to call Dan's product shit and then getting exposed for having the same fucking product. And then just failing and failing and failing and honestly, it got hard to watch at a certain point. This was just a fully grown man having a meltdown on social media over a single tweet made by a Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> Stay my time, TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> he started it. I just released the product. This product came at me. What are you fucking twat? 
JJ, you're breaking my heart. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> but I wasn't the one complaining. Womp, womp. Totally unaffected here. And then we have Logan getting absolutely railed by community notes, which is basically a fact bot. So if you post misinformation or a fake video, you will be corrected by Twitter. And Logan was getting absolutely smacked by it. Every time he tried to defend his shitty product with his facts and logic, he'd get hit with a nah uh from Twitter every fucking time, which was kind of funny. And Logan had a mental breakdown of his own as well. And I don't even know how I almost forgot this, but at the birth of his own child, this man was promoting Lunchly. His wife was literally in labor and he was too busy setting up some Prime and fucking Lunchly. I can't make this up even if I wanted to. But I don't even know why I'm trying to be shocked right now. This is the same guy who recorded a dead body and tased a dead rat. The fact that he was preoccupied with promoting a business over watching his child be born shouldn't be surprising to anyone. And then we have have Jimmy Beast. Oh boy, oh boy. Not only do you have all these allegations, all this shit, but you also have a company which is getting absolutely shat on. What a year it's been for the Beast team. But to be fair to him, he did address the Ava, Chris Tyson, Ava stuff in one tweet where he stated that, oh mate, my friend is a pedophile and I will now be distancing myself from this individual. Fair enough. Now you've got all this other shit to worry about. I mean, look at all these other allegations against you, Beast. You can't just say, well, we privately investigated ourselves and determined that, yes, we are in fact innocent of all charges. Sorry, Jimmy, but I just don't think it works like that, mate. Logan and KSI have the lunchly situation covered. You don't need to worry about any of that. Focus on the more damning allegations, my god. But of course, those of you with hindsight can tell that that is not what happened. Instead, he goes on an essay right monologue about why Lunchly is the best thing ever. So you're telling me that your friend is a literal pedophile and has possession of actual lolly CP and you make one tweet about it, but your shit product gets called shit because it's shit, then ah, now you feel the need to publicly speak up. You lot are some of the biggest wank stains on the internet. One of you gets outed for literally scamming people of tens of thousands of dollars and the other one gets outed for hoarding multiple child enjoyers with other allegations and you don't say a word. Zip 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 but someone makes fun of your shitty food for being shit and you've got oh you've got everything to say now i refuse to believe that any of these guys exist in real life but to somewhat combat the heaps of backlash they've been getting for releasing this clay food they decided to release some of the weirdest adverts i've ever seen come from an actual official business like i know these guys claim to be youtubers and they still do make videos but they're really not. They're official business owners at this point. This isn't just a YouTube brand anymore. This is an actual product you can actually find in stores. And this is how the official Lunchly account actually advertises it. Uh, hey guys, uh, so right now I'm just in New York City. I know a lot of people call it the Big Apple. Uh, these two random strangers invited me to this restaurant and I guess I'm gonna go check it out because I'm a little bit hungry, so. All right, guys, so I just sat down. Uh, I've been looking at the menu. Um, well, uh, oh, hey, uh, I guess I'll just get the Fiesta nachos. <laughs> Fucking hilarious, mate. Oh, uh, well, thanks. That's really nice. Uh, I guess I'll try it. Wow, uh, one thing I definitely noticed is the cheese is definitely really drippy. <laughs> We are living in the worst timeline. What the fuck am I watching? Why did the official Lunchly account post this? And why do they look so scared, Logan? What the fuck? <laughs> why does Logan look so scared? Oh, what is going on, man? Look that way. 
Who forced you guys to make this? Why did you make this? There's guns on all of them. There is no way they made this out of free will. Sorry, mate. This video does not make me want to buy lunch, Lee. In fact, it makes me want to buy a rope so I can make it into a Logan Paul video. I do not approve of this stupid fucking advert. If cheese don't drip for three, it ain't for me. Check this out. Three inches, baby. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Ah! Yeah! Oh, that's no! Both of you are 30 years old and one of you is a parent. Logan, go take care of your newborn child in KSI. Just do quite literally anything other than make any more music. And side note, I know this is completely irrelevant to the video, but I fucking hate it when people chew with their mouth open. It is disgusting. Disgusting. Logan, close your fat globber, you nasty twat. You don't have a single fucking video where you need to be making this face, Logan. All right, kids, here's your feast of golden lunch, Lee. Yay! Oh, boy, eat, eat. Ah! I like my cheese drippy, bro. I am losing my fucking mind. I know I literally just said this a few seconds ago, but we are living in the worst timeline. Can someone please explain to me in words what the fuck I just witnessed? And why did the official Lunchly post it? Mmm, yeah, Lunchly. I want some Lunchly after watching this. Ah, oh, yes, drippy cheese and prime and some fucking bleach for me to drink. What a way to advertise a product, guys. Now, as much as I respect and agree with Dan TDM's opinion, I personally don't really care. I mean, come on. It's these guys. No one was expecting a quality product in the first place. It's dumb, it's scummy, and it does give a bad look for YouTuber products in general, but I can't say I'm surprised. These guys are known for doing practically anything that will make them money, and selling a shitty processed meal kit isn't beneath them at all. They deserve all the criticism and backlash they got for releasing this, but I just don't really have any personal interest. Apart from the B stuff. Jimmy, you have to talk about this, man. This is fucking bad. And I really didn't care until I came across this video by another giant YouTuber, Rosanna Pancino, who makes baking videos, cooking tutorials, and actually gives a shit about food products unlike these wankers. But she made a video where she reviewed Lunchly, and she was expecting it to just be another shitty processed food product, but instead she found something a little bit worse. I was shooting a video comparing Lunchly to Lunchables, and I opened the first package, which was supposed to be good until December 8th, 2024, and we just got this one. This was fresh from the store this morning, um, and there is a ton of mold in there. I honestly wasn't expecting that. I was thinking that, you know, maybe they would taste pretty similar, um, just, you know, not have that best or better for you ingredients. And I was going to go over nutritional facts and things, but this is really concerning. So fucking mold. It has mold in it. The product which all three of these guys defended to death has literal mold in it. Better for you food option, my ass is moldy for fuck's sake. Hello, Jimmy, Forrest, and JJ. You guys might not know this because you're all idiots, but cheese isn't supposed to be green. You dickhead. Okay, if I use this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have a fork and I'm just going to dig into it just to see... Oh, yeah. Okay. That is a ton of mold. This is really dangerous. Now, listen, yeah. I am not a professional in this food field at all. I did study nutrition a little bit in college, but I am no professional by any means. But I feel like I know enough on this topic to tell people to not fucking eat that. No! Cheese is not supposed to look like that. And you'd expect this to be a one-off thing because, oh, she just wants views and attention so she can give it a bad review, blah, blah, blah. But no, 
there's been multiple different cases of people finding moldy cheese in their lunch leaf. Sometimes in small amounts and sometimes it's a fuck ton. Okay, listen, I know I'm sarcastic and I joke a lot in these videos, but please, my God, do not eat this or feed this to anyone. Before it was don't give this to your kids because it's bad for them. Now it's if you feed this to your children, it is going to play jump rope with their intestine. This looks like the type of shit that will start a fungal disease like the last of us my god please do not eat this shitty ass product oh wait hold on guys hold on everyone before you stop buying lunchly ksi did say that lunchly does have more electrolytes and that's what a bunch of people who don't do any form of physical activity need and logan said the cheese is drippy whoa 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 hold on did you say the cheese is drippy and moldy? How can we resist? And Jimmy said it's 100% real cheese? I love real cheese. Like my cheese moldy, bruh, is what people are saying as they find more mold in Lunchly's. And I know what you're gonna say, they use real cheese. Well, maybe there's a reason that Lunchables doesn't. Oh yes, this looks very appetizing. But I'll be honest, this whole video, I've just been trolling. Like, I love Lunchly. I eat Lunchly all the time. In fact, it's one of my favorite snacks. I'd even give it a 9 out of 10. Just shy out of 10 out of 10, only because there was a little bit of cheese in my mold. Kind of annoying, but not everything can be perfect. Which is a small mistake, but we have to forgive Jimmy for that because he does do charity, which means he can never do anything wrong ever. Now, you'd expect after hearing all the outbreaks of mold in their food they'd at least address it in some kind of way i mean not from jimmy this guy goes radio silent when anyone addresses him with any genuine criticism but logan i mean he defends lunchly more than he defended his own wife on twitter so surely he'd have something to say about this lunchly mold situation but uh yeah like i like my cheese moldy bro <laughs> Yo. Hilarious, guys. Fucking hilarious. Oh, my product has the potential to poison children. <laughs> that is so funny. What the fuck, man? The product you market to your young and impressionable fan base and defend like your life depends on it literally has mold in it and you're laughing? You guys do realize that that's not a meme on the internet. Your product is actually fucking moldy. You know that, right? Like, there's actual mold in here. This isn't a troll. There's fucking mold in here. Oh, why do I even try? It's not like they gave a shit in the first place. Oh, but this is a better for you option sure surprise surprise none of these guys have addressed any of this in any meaningful way ksi is still scrolling through reddit fake laughing at every damn tdm meme logan paul would rather attack and dox random people rather than addressing anything meaningful and jimmy beast would rather rent out a cinema and watch the fucking talk to a podcast than address anything your product is literally poison and you're wanking around doing anything but fixing the issue how the fuck are any of you famous jesus christ like i'm not even a slop drama channel like that but i just think it's stupid how these guys will defend lunchly from memes and jokes but the second there's actually something wrong with the product you won't hear a single sound they even pissed off to india for a week are you gonna start another fucking product out there mr beast but surprise surprise they don't fucking care they never did. They're sitting here laughing at the fact that their product has mold in it. Aw, but we care what kids eat at lunchtime because this is a way healthier option. Yeah, clearly. And there's mold. Why is there mold in the lunch lady? Oh my no, god. It's actually disgusting. Hey yo, drink prime and <laughs> eat lunch lady more fun. Do literally anything else. But anyways, guys, this is in fact the end of the video. And if you liked, please leave a like. And if you didn't, then feel free to degrade me in the comments. And if you made it this far into the end of the video and you aren't subscribed yet, then come on, mate. You know what to do. I don't think I need to tell you which button you need to press next. But while I'm here, I just want to give a quick shout out to Ori underscore O3, the fucking champion. Thank you once again for the dono. Muhammad Alpha, who requested for the Halloween video I did last week. Louis 9780 with his great words of encouragement. And Abby Senna, who works eight and a half hours a day. Fucking hell. I wish I could pay you. But thank all of you guys for the donos. I appreciate all of you guys. And if you want to give a super thanks, I will read it out at the end of video. But with all that said, all my links and socials are in the description. Feel free to follow me on anything. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. But until next time, make sure you drink your water and get enough sleep at night.
Okay, goodbye. This is Beast Trans friend used to talk to little boys. Logan Paul filmed the dead guy, whatever, but none of that fucking compares to that fucking horrendous piece of garbage KSI dropped, right? I wish KSI just touched a fucking kid instead of releasing that fucking music. I but he did. Yeah, yeah. No, I got keep my fire on. Fire on, fire on, fire on. Yeah, my whip on flying. That girl on my left. That bitch on my right on. Damn your heels, they so high. Yeah, get your height on. Yeah, smoke that guy like Shaq.